Hello, family. Welcome to another Faith on Fire moment. Today, we want to continue to talk to you about using your faith, especially for the day and time that we're living in. You know, Jesus said to his disciples in um, Matthew chapter 21, verse 21, and New King James Version says, So Jesus answered and said unto them, Assuredly, I say unto you, that if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what was done to this fig tree, but also you can say to this mountain, Be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and it will be done. And whatever things you ask in prayer, just believe you receive. So we're speaking to coronavirus, we're speaking to COVID-19, we're speaking to the demonic forces of prejudice and racism, and we're commanded to be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. And the Bible says that it shall be done. You know, I love what he said, if you would speak to a mountain, and these things are mountains in people's lives. Racism is a mountain. It's, it's not something small. And what we want, we don't want just justice for one man. We like to see change totally. We want to see a mindset change. And how do we do that? We need to remove the, the evil influence behind all of it. We need to get to the source of the problem. And one of the ways that we dealing with the thing behind um, the curtains of humanity is to speak to that mountain of division. Speak to that mountain of sin. the fig tree. Well, what did Jesus do to the fig tree? He cursed it with his mouth mm -hmm. and it dried up from the roots Amen. and fell mm -hmm. over. He says, if you say to it, be thou removed, be thou cast in the sea, and you don't doubt in your heart, but believe those things which you say, you'll have whatsoever you say. So in other words, you use your, your mouth the same way you use your hands. Well, I pray that you guys join your faith with ours and let's just speak to these mountains that are keeping people in bondage and let's believe God that this will come to an end. Well, that's our another Faith on Fire moment. We'll see you again this week. God bless you.